Guys, I've assembled a collection of some of my, you know, golden age of Star Trek background works, blueprints and tech manuals and what have you. Not reference books, but the background books, the non-fiction of Star Trek. And yes, that is a term. I've, I'm in this mood because, well, i got to be honest with you. Look what came in the mail. A trip back in time to modern day Star Trek backgrounding. And I can't wait. Oh, pretty blue bubble wrap. This is, uh, oh my god. Star Trek. Federation. The first 150 years. But guys, this is huge. I, oh, and it's, um, it's deep. This is going to take a minute to get a handle on. Good gravy. How do you open this sucker? I think it, it gets an A+, plus just for the force fields. Oh, here we go. Nice box design. Because this is bound to be one of the great hits of the Christmas season. Provided, of course, that my friend David Goodman has not screwed it up. Okay. Uh, wow, this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. Look at this sucker. Is it all one big board cube or it detaches? And that's the uh, platform. That's the platform. Jesus Christ, just look at the book itself. Okay, seriously, congratulations, David. Very nice. This is a hardback book, by the way. Very nice binding, very nice plastic front. A note on sources. I haven't had a chance to digest all this. I've got to get back into my um, being on top of everything. Okay, well, there's a nod to the cannon heads. The Canonistas. There we go. Let's just get a taste here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look like anybody you know? Yep. I was in that audience, you know. I heard him say that. Good job, David. Good job, David. Done as the guise of a memory alpha historian. Very nice. Wow. Of course, it's just the first 150 years. I'm going to talk to David about uh, some of his specific choices. A lot of his specific choices. But for right now, at first blush, it's very usable and doable. And here is the Memory Alpha. Pull that out, throw the pin, toss the grenade. No. So what's going on here? Initiate the pedestal. Oh my gosh. So now what do we get? Commander-in-Chief of Starfleet Command, welcoming you Jesus to Memory Christ. Alpha. I am proud to present this history of the Federation commissioned by the Council of the United Federation of Planets on the 150th anniversary of its incorporation. The documents presented in this history, many presented to the public for the first time, were drawn from the Federation <laughs> archives here on Memory Alpha. Many presented. Established in the Earth year 2161. <laughs> The United Federation of Planets is an intergalactic democracy comprised of dozens of worlds and species. Its founding members, the planets Earth, Proxima Centauri, Andoria, Teller, and Vulcan, decided to combine their resources to provide for a common defense and promote their general welfare in the wake of Earth's war it's, with the Romulan Star Empire. It's Sulu Schoolhouse Rock. You're not going to get much of a... Illustrated history here on the Romulan War, of course, because the treaty was negotiated by subspace radio, since they did not have ship-to-ship -ship visual in those days. 
or did David hew to that cannon? We'll have to see. Of course he did. He had to. David, you can't betray me here. I guess if you start back at the beginning, what does he do with the eugenics wars? It's, 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 uh, how did we miss it in the 90s? Do you remember what I missed? Oh, look, he starts with Cochrane. Well, we'll see what happens. Here's the chapters. Cochrane's Flight, First Steps, Roman War, Federation, Edge of Night, The Edge of Night, The New Era, and a bibliography. Well, I'm going to talk to David later on, and, um, find out the flesh and bones behind this. But for right now, on first blush, and I hadn't even had time, I'm so busy talking to you guys, I haven't had time to really, really check out the nuts and bolts and all the, uh, ooh, eulogy for James T. Kirk. <laughs> Is this the Kittimer Accords? It's the Kittimer Accords. It's the Kittimer Accords, signed by Aja Boer. And, oh look, Red gets a name for his Star Trek VI role. Oh, and it's so subtle, we're flipping back and forth. You get this cool little uh, back envelope here. Oh, there you go. You spa, Starfleet Command a la Enterprise, and the USP Banner with officially curved sides. Did you guys know we've been getting that wrong for years? Very nice job, guys. Oh, Vern Sion, Mel Keys. This is the original crew. All the model builders that built the original 11-footer uh, for the original series. Very nice. See you soon, love, Jim. Oh, my God. Pass due to hell with them. Oh, I see it's a rebel. It's a rebel. What is this? Look, it's Zephron Cochran sketching out his engine on the back of an envelope. Wow, Cochrane and Lincoln. It's his speech. Where no man has gone before. Hmm. Hang on to that one, Zephy. What else? What else? What other Coolio things are in here? This is not a... Uh, message from author David Goodman of 2012. This is a very cool little nod to the original technical manuals cover letter tying it into uh, original series' uh, Tomorrow is Yesterday. Basically David is tying in the publication of this book to the Tomed incident. Did you catch that? Yeah they would attack the Federation colony on Tomed. Um, it's a very, 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 very impressive tome here, including... Hello, this is Admiral Hikaru Sulu. Captain Sulu. Admiral, Admiral Sulu. You guys are going to enjoy this. You guys are going to love this. This just does my heart good. I'm so jealous. Uh, I also understand, though, that... Uh, I can take it easy on David because he did me a little homage. Oh, yes, here's the signers of the Federation Constitution. Yep, David did indeed use the names I used in that uh, <laughs> news output copy for the signing of the Federation. My dad, Thomas Vanderbilt, to Jan of Vulcan was Janet, my wife, Nathan Kell, and... Oh, he added Gort, Sarad. Nice touch, David. But Sarad was Sarah and Nathan, my kids. And Titus Olit. Olita Titus, my mom. There's a trivia question for you, kitties. And who'd have thunk back in 1999 when I got to answer the call for throwing in details in the Kirk family scrapbook? The Picard, excuse me, the Picard family scrapbook that... Uh, it would wind up in here in David's great book. Thank you, David. That's very sweet. That was a nice touch. And you knew it, too. It wasn't an accident. Anyway, what a great book. Kids, you don't have to have an inside track like that to understand or to appreciate what a great, great book this is. And it's about damn time we got some good, uh, we got some good background gap filling going on again. Very nice. Run out and get it. Perfect Christmas gift. There you have it once you can finally blast through that box. Thanks guys.